Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Polish campaign again. Uh, this time going fascist. I'm going to go ahead and research the 1936 variant. Um, I don't think we're going to go past that. I think that's the only tanking that we're going to be doing much of. We're doing Polish militarism. Currently there is zero world tension, which is weird. We are making factories, slowly. We're filling in infantry equipment. Uh, looks like we have a little bit of steel. Each one of these things uses how much? Two steel, so we really only have enough to support a couple more, and then we're going to have a deficit here. Uh, we're stockpiling convoys. That costs us steel. We could just not make them. Please don't tell me we're trading for the oil. No, we have two units available. Polish militarism is done. 20 army experience and we have... That's good. And a national spirit. Let's just get this thing knocked out right now. Make sure that we have it. As soon as we got that increase to our uh, recruitable population, it, it immediately pops up and says low manpower. <laughs> so that's, that's reassuring. How are we doing on equipment? 7,000 units in deficit. But we are getting more factories done, so we're getting some light infantry equipment. Toad artillery, we've got um, 1,400 toad artillery. That might have actually been way too much, come to think of it. Um, so the very first thing we're going to do with our army experience, I think, is we're going to edit this infinite inf9 template, and we're going to add the support artillery. Um, I think that that's going to be useful. We've got... 38 divisions. This is going to cost 38 times 24. So 38 times 24 is 912. Um, we're definitely going to want to save that. It's already got recon company support, anti-air engineering company. We definitely want um, support anti-air. I think we don't want. And that pretty much took up almost all of the towed artillery that we had. I think that's a good problem to have. Okay, we got our radio, and we got interwar artillery right on time. Being able to build a radio, a radar station, I think is, is probably important. We're no longer ahead of time here. Oh, actually, if that's the case, then never mind. Cancel that. Instead, go for this. Speed 5 is, uh, fast. Let's just put it that way. And we almost have Polish revanchism, so we're going to immediately start justifying a war goal on you as soon as we get that, that thing done. Spanish Civil War fires. So it's, okay. it's just going to be 48 points. War goal modifiers, world tension. Okay, world tension helped out a little bit. Um, justification of this war goal will increase world tension by 1%. That's fine. I think we're going to go for it. So all of our divisions... That little flag. Is that our flag? That's our flag. I guess I didn't see that last time. We've got a guy who's apparently not assigned to a job or unable to move to a province in his path. Oh god, what have I done? We didn't have Polish revanchism yet. Yeah, I don't care that I wasted 40 points. I'm gonna cancel it and restart it again. Whoops! A little bit of a misplay. Okay, so... Construction technology. Are there other technologies in the construction tree that we want? Yes. So let's get a discount for that. Or do we, would we rather have the bonus to land doctrine? 
Right now we have um, max planning 30%. A bonus to that would be really nice. And then they had industry, getting another civilian economy, just just basic stuff could go a long way. Yeah, let's try to get a couple couple factories that way. But the main thing is I want I want your factories. So, I'm not really too worried about Germany attacking me right this second. So, we're going to assign everyone over here. First off, Speed 5 is so fast, holy crap. Um We don't have the technology yet for the 7TP. We have some army experience. How could we modify the template? We could, we could like, add the artillery right now. Which would be one way to go. Um... Is there more support stuff that I want to add before we start breaking off? Maintenance company, military police, field hospital, log I mean, we don't have a lot of manpower, so that'd be nice. Logistics company would be useful. Signal company organization is not as good as I thought that it was. Um, we don't want to research this because there's a, a thing in there that gives 75% reduction. So we don't want to do that. I think I'm good with the template as is. I think now we start to make our modifications. So we duplicate... And then we call this one the 9-inf. Um, sorry, 7-inf. Seven, seven plus 2 art. Still, so that's going to put us at 20 combat width, which is fine. I know I'm going to want this, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's find some guys who are not, uh, not regulars. I don't think any of them really are. And get a couple of them changed over to the thing there. Change your template. And we've got 600 and... 12 extra artillery. This requires 96 artillery. These guys require 24. So... Uh, 96 minus 24. Divided by 618. I can upgrade... Did that math wrong. So... Already forgotten. 96 minus 24. 618 divided by 72. I can upgrade 8 more of them. Okay. Okay, I think we'll do that. Severely lacking support equipment. That's right, I added all those engineer companies and stuff. As much as I like division attack, I think I'm going to go for defense. I think that with our low manpower, 
it's going to come down to us never having enough manpower the longer the wars go. Okay, we are only a few days away from being able to do this. He's feeling pretty confident in his plan. Um, just looking at this guy's stats again, he's got uh, 37.9 breakthrough. Pretty good soft attack. We could go with the even smaller ones. The 4-4. Four, four. Once this tank is done, we'll see if that exploit makes sense. Okay, so... Um, let's say we're looking at the template standard template has 4.4 pierce right and if we were to add armored light tank armor is now 5.3 5.3 armor is greater than the regular piercing which gives them a bonus so even if like, it'd be really good. It, it would be really good to add a tank. For 25 experience, though, it's it's expensive. But that might be one way that we could conquer pretty darn well. So, let's get some 7 TPs produced. Seven TP requires what? Oil and three steel. Well, we can run one factory. Um, we actually do have the materials for it, at least at the moment. Not going to do any of the variants. I don't think that they're necessary. Okay, how long on this? Let's go speed 5. Central region strategy is now done. Um, I, think, I think we do want to get this one done before the war as well. I would just love to be able to knock that out. That extra max planning would be an extra 30% combat modifier. It would be great. I don't think we're going to have time. Because we got to we got to do the 70 day thing. And then on top of that, we also have to I think I did I think I did do also two bits. Yeah. Two bits of world tension. No, I'm not going to join your faction. You're a loser. Nobody likes you. <laughs> this first war, I think we'll probably win without those tanks. Um, we're producing some. 0.13 per day. We have three whole tanks. Czechoslovakia gets the event. Yeah, it's just bluff from us fabricating on him. We're gonna do. We're gonna manually control the army. Improved machine tools is great. We have a. Tech bonus to this. Uh, 239 days is not bad. For an extra 15% production efficiency. On the other hand, we could just get this thing in 79 days. Construction speed's always nice.
Is it taking half of the total? 239 days. Hmm. I think either way, it's saving you... In theory, it would save you more the more ahead of time you are, right? Because it's saving you 50% of the amount that you're ahead as well. Not just the, the base. Or is it not? I don't- I'm not really sure. I'd rather knock out the little researchers, I think. Okay, so we have more toad artillery. We have more infantry equipment. We can start creating some more units. Let's get some more of these guys trained up. Just that damn support equipment that I never really upgraded at all. Japan's just declared war. Good. Things are about to start start get interesting. Okay, so we got a bonus to land doctrine. That's that's the thing that I wanted. So as soon as concentrated industry is done, we'll try to knock that out. What else? What else can we get before our war that might help us out? Construction, land doctrine, another land doctrine research bonus would help out. What is the next land doctrine? After, after this one. All infantry get increased defense and organization. I like that a lot. Army modern army modernization might just be a great way. To just keep on going all the way down this. Just keep on trying to get stuff. I know the extra research slot would also be quite good. The sooner you get it, the better. Okay, let's slow things down a little bit. We're at twenty four percent world tension. Trying to get you know speed five to get get to the war. Within an episode or two. I'm not joining your faction. I'm not giving you military access. You're a loser. Nobody likes you, Germany. I'm gonna kill Czechoslovakia. In 30 days. Which means that we're not gonna get that tech done. Let's check and see. Is Germany doing... Nope, they're doing tactical air effort. Which means that they're not demanding... They're not demanding land from... Czechoslovakia. Can I see what they have done? I Okay, I know he's working on tactical air effort. It looks like, no, I can't see what he's done. Because there's like no clear indicator that... Yes, he's working on this, but... So we know he's done this, but we don't know for sure. Hmm. Okay, uh, military 99 day grand grand battle plan. Maybe we do wait. Maybe we, we wait till we have the 30% bonus. It looks like he's going to give us the time to do so. So, by all means, let's take advantage. Fifteen whole light tanks. When we do, eventually, test out this little exploit thing, it's going to require 60 light tanks per division. And the combat width is only going to go up by one. So we just... Sorry, by two. So this actually makes it 20 combat width, which is ideal. And uh, could potentially make our infantry very, very strong. Armor expert, air superiority, chief of navy, tank designer don't care about ship, aircraft don't care, material, motorization, small arms, and artillery, industrial. So industrial and electronics. And yes, I did learn that uh, it's talking about the tabs, the industry tab. Um, but then again, here, electronics is here. And this is the engineering tab. <laughs> So when it says electronics, what the hell is it talking about, you know? Anyway, I think I think a bonus to all industry research is a good idea. 
and we almost have our justification. So we wait for the, um, we basically just wait for 90 days. Actually, we're going to have to declare. No, we have to declare because otherwise they'll get pissed off that we don't declare. So sadly, um, I could have done this better again. Mistakes were made, you know, things never go perfectly, but uh, I think that there is an optimum or an optimal opening strategy where you could easily have this tech as well and have that bonus. Right now, instead, we're just going to have a planning bonus of 50%, which is still going to be good enough. I feel, I mean, he feels pretty confident in his plan, which if, if he's confident, I'm confident. Um, and because we did... Because I did the, the copy, these guys also have the support artillery and the engineering companies as well. Where before I kind of messed it up and I did, you know, I, I started modifying a new one and then you got to add support companies to everything and then you're strapped for army experience, which sucks. I do want to try this. When we get 25 army experience, I am going to add that thing in. He's still doing tactical air effort. Uh, we have our war goal. Uh, conquer. 4% world tension. I think we just declare the war. Fascist Poland is on the rise. We're going to take a break here, and in the next episode, we will kill Czechoslovakia. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.